Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a custom intro in iMovie. Okay, let's get started. First, you obviously enough open up iMovie and go to the project you want to add your, in your intro to. Or make a new one and click on this T. It stands for text, so choose the one you want to use. I like drifting, sideways drift, and vertical drift. If I have a small enough name to fit in the screen, because these have very sm a small limited amount of letters you can put in them. If not, pull focus, pixie dust, boogie lights, organic main, or lens flare have more room along with some others. Of the ones I listed though, pull focus has the most room. Okay, so once you bring this into your timeline like so, you choose your background. Now choosing your background is more important than it seems. Choosing different backgrounds gives you a different feeling, so it'll give the person watching your video a different feeling too, what, what they can be expecting almost. To experiment with this, choose underwater and look at it for like 15 seconds and see what kind of feeling it gives you. The background is the one thing I change from video to video based on what the video is about. The other stuff stays the same. I always have the name of my video at the front, then my name with the same music almost always. Though I do change the type of text if it is too long to fit my normal one. Obviously I have to do that. There's no other choice. Okay, so once you've done that and wrote out the words to your video and optionally done the same thing with your username, that's not per you don't have to do that, but it makes it better. You click the music bar to the left of the T and choose jingles and then search for kick. Three different things will appear labeled kick flip short, kick flip medium, and kick flip long. You choose kick flip short, which is 8.7 seconds. That's one of the reasons I have my username after my video name because 4 seconds is the standard time for a text though you can change it, but I like 4, the best, and 4 plus 4 obviously equals 8 and that's per almost perfect with my music. And I can cut out the last .7 seconds of the music so it ends perfectly and you can barely notice it. To so change that you click right here and just retype this to 8, you can always switch it back if you don't like it. That's it. You can just watch it now and see how beautiful it is. Thank you for watching too. If this taught you how to do it and you like the way you do it now, make sure you like it. And if you want to keep learning new awesome stuff with iMovie, YouTube, and anything else I can think of, make sure you subscribe. See you later.